Do you want your world to look like this? Yeah, I thought so. With the Terraform Generator plugin, you can make your worlds look like this. It has custom biomes, custom villages, custom monuments, custom everything. So first I'm going to show you how to download the plugin, and then we'll have to do some configuration to get the plugin to work. Then we will delete our world file so we can generate this world and then we'll take a look at some of the structures there will be a link in the description that will bring you here all you, you have to do is click on download go to your server go to file manager go to plugins drag and drop the plugin into this folder i have it right here and remember to reboot your server once your server is done rebooting go back to where you got the plugin at scroll down until you get to here you want to copy one of these. They're the same same, same thing. So I'm going to take this, select it, and copy. Go to my server, go to File Manager. Down here, there will be a bucket YML and possibly a spigot YML. You want to select the bucket YML and paste it at the very bottom it's usually not here so i'm gonna delete this so normally yours will look like this in the bucket yml i'll just go down and paste make sure you start pasting it from way back here not just like all the way over here because then it will add that so don't don't do that so paste, save content, then go to file manager, take my world files, and delete them. This will delete your whole world file, so make sure you're doing this when you're first making the server, or making a backup before you start editing with this plugin, or deleting your world files. So I'm going to delete them, and restart. Once the server is running, go back to Minecraft, log into the world, and here I am. That's new over there. We got bigger trees, rocks, terrain is different. Look at that, that looks cool. Birch trees. Now let's take a look at some of the structures. So to find one, you're going to do slash terra locate type in the structure that you want to find so let's say mansion and we'll give you the location or coordinates so TP my player to eight three two one hundred five four four oh and I'm in the sky so I'm gonna drop down and mansions are different there we go this one spawned in the water apparently interesting this is the whole mansion so we can enter it there's all this here's some loot this would be a nice place to live at. You got armor that you could probably steal. And a bunch of other stuff. Let's go take a look at something else. Locate. Village. House. Village. Pop player. Let's see the difference between these two. So that's TP. Linksel. Negative 192. 100. Five four four zero. Oh. Oh. This is a cool village. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. How do you get in, bro? Down here. Oh. Wonder what's in these chests. This your average villager supplies. Cool building. Cow farm. Like these houses look much, much nicer compared 
to the normal villager houses. Like this is actually a good enough space now. It's actually big enough. Got more pins. All right. Let's take a look. That's villager pop player. Let's take a look at the villager house. TP links. Can I click on that? Nope. Can you give seven no four one hundred five nine fifty two? Oh, okay, too low, two hundred. And this is just one house, I believe. That is in a interesting spawn location. I think it there was. This was some sort of volcano and he just put his house right on top of it. What do you got? Normal stuff. Can't can't open the book. Okay, cool. Brewery, I suppose. Yeah, there's when I was testing this plugin, it showed another different house that wasn't like this. So I guess it will take random houses and place them about. So if you want to look at the other structures, you can test out the plugin and see for yourself. That's it for this plugin tutorial. Hope you enjoyed and bye.